everyone and welcome back to my channel well as you could see it already from the thumbnail today we're going to work on a big 17 inch monster high doll and honestly guys these big monster high dolls are my favorite dolls to customize really out of all dolls on the market and first of all it's because of their very poseable very flexible body they're as good articulated as barbie made to move dolls that's why they're very interesting to play with them and i really love making pictures of these dolls because they can pose on these pictures just like a real human really they're extremely flexible extremely poseable and also the second plus point of these dolls is of course their bigger size bigger scale so i can draw everything really very detailed because you know when you're working on barbie dolls especially monster high dolls are a little bit bigger their faces and when you're working on barbie dolls with their super tiny faces of course i have to drop certain details but when i'm working on this big doll like a bigger doll hat or the 17 inch monster high dolls i can really draw everything in in the smallest details and that's why these dolls always look very pretty very alive in the end but unfortunately it's quite difficult to buy these dolls they were released years ago and right now you almost cannot just buy them in any store at least not here in belgium but luckily lately i've got four of these big 17 inch monster high dolls so i have some dolls to play with right now i gave one doll to my mom so she's going to make an outfit today for this doll and i'm going to unbox her and i'm going to customize her like always so let's probably open the box and let's start working first of all i'm going to remove her outfit i'm going to cut her hair very short to, you know all my regular routine and if you suddenly don't know my regular routine yet and this is your first time here on my channel then please don't forget to subscribe to my channel of course hit the bell button support my art here on youtube with your likes yes and i'm going to start working i'm really excited about it and i'm really that i've got four dolls like this to customize so by the way if you have any good ideas for the other three dolls that i still have in my stock so you can of course let them in the comments under this video well and i'm going to start working This doll's hat is made out of a harder rubber than regular Monster High and Barbie hats. So blowing with a hair dryer will take yeah, much longer today. But anyway, after 5, 6, maybe 7 minutes of using hot air, I can disconnect the hat from the body without making any damage. Then I take my tweezers and I start removing short hair from the inside of her head and you know guys, I'm completely shocked and confused right now because it goes super easy today. Normally it's such a long torture, you cannot imagine. One time I remember I even gave up after two hours of suffering, I had really blood on my fingers. But this time I have zero trouble removing her hair, I don't know, it's absolutely unbelievable believable and unexplainable. And after her hair has been gone, I take pure acetone and I remove all this paint from her face. I'm 
going to give her hair in two different colors. The bottom will be this Twyla nylon. It's a very pretty blue purple blend. And then on top of it, I will put this gorgeous marshmallow nylon. It's a mix of pink and white hair, looks so pretty and so yummy, not normal. And I think it will look amazing together, these two hair colors. But first of all, I want to cover the doll's head with acrylics matching this new hair colors. And by the way, guys, it seems I've forgotten to tell you what we are actually making today. Of course, You've seen it already from the thumbnail, but I really forgot to tell it in the beginning from the excitement. So we're making a Lolita doll today and it's going to be a sweet Lolita. That's why I'm using these soft pastel colors like soft pink, soft blue. Well, the blue color can be a little bit darker because it will give an effect of darker hair roots. Well, guys, it seems I have a little bit underestimated the amount of hair I would need for this big hat because all this hair that I've shown you, it's already out and I still have four rows of hair to fill in. So, I've decided to add another hair blend and this is this pretty Alvin nylon. It's a mix of purple and pink and I think it will perfectly connect the pink and the blue hair together, coming in the middle of them. So, and here we are, three days later, her Franken hair looks very cool, I think. And now I just need to glue it from the inside with tacky glue, and then I will let it dry for a couple of days. Okay, I have protected her hair already and now I'm going to paint the head and the body with acrylics. And for this I have to prepare the body first by sanding it with nail buffers and like this I will be able to remove the glossy top from the surface. And then I take my airbrush and I cover the face and the body with light nude acrylics. After this I've sprayed the face with Mr. Super Clear sealant and now I can start drawing the new face and I start with sketching her eyes, eyebrows and nostrils. And after this I will blush her face with nude pastels. I want to give her very light, very sweet makeup, so I use mostly just light peach color pastels today. I want to try to use these pink pastels as a blush and I really I have no idea what kind of an effect it's gonna give because right now it looks quite chalky, not really pink at all. 
but pastels quite often they change quite seriously their shade after spraying it with the sealant. So let's try it and let's see what will happen. Yes, and I was really right, guys. After using the spray, all this chalkiness is gone, and her skin looks very pretty and very healthy. Really, this pink color looks super pretty on her skin, and I'm really very happy with her skin tone today. So, and now I still want to make her eyeshadows a little bit brighter. Her lips I also want to keep very natural, just with a touch of light pink pastels. And then I take my pencils and I draw the rest of her beautiful eyes. When I feel happy with the face, I apply the same soft pastels to her body and then I seal it with Mr. Super Clear again. So, now I think I can let the face and the body rest for a while. And it's time to work on the outfit and on the accessories. My mom is making the outfit today and her goal is to make a sweet Lolita dress. Pink with a lot of lace, with layers, decorated with some, I don't know, candies. And now you can see her work in progress video.
here is the finished dress. It looks so cute, so adorable, really unbelievable. And this is actually real silk. I think it's absolutely ideal for my Lolita doll. And here we have also a pair of cute long socks. But anyway, I still want to add some more different candies to the dress. And I also want to make a hat decorated with candies. And then later we will make a pair of cute Mary Jane shoes. And we'll also make a handbag today. So let's start probably with making a hat out of my favorite warbler thermoplastic. And this is how the finished hat looks, absolutely normal, this is how it should be. And now let's make all kinds of sweets, candies, lollipops and stuff like this. I'm going to use foam clay to make a couple of tiny cupcakes and also a bunch of candies and this foam clay guys it looks so yummy you cannot imagine it's like a marshmallow cream I would eat it myself And then I also make a big lollipop also out of a foam clay. Okay, now let's paint all this variety of tiny candies.
and then also add sprinkles to the cupcakes and I also attach some cute bows to some lollipops. Okay, here is my candy shop. I've got also some cute ribbons, feathers, flowers, and now we're going to install it all on the hat. I also glued two ribbons to the inside of the hat to be able to put this hat on my doll, to be able to fix it on her hat. And after this I think our hat is kind of finished. I don't know, I think it looks so adorable. It's probably the most adorable thing I've ever made here on my channel. So and now let's attach the rest of the candies to the skirt of the dress to make it even more colorful. So here is the finished dress and now I still want to make a mini handbag and a pair of shoes for her. I'm going to start with the handbag probably and first of all I'm making a basic shape out of warbler thermoplastic and then I will cover it with pink acrylics. I'm decorating the sides of the bigger part of the back with white lace. And then I connect the two parts of the back together using a piece of a ribbon.
To the inner side of the bag, I'm going to attach this super cute paper with candies. And to the front of the bag, I attach my big foam lollipop that we've made earlier today. And in the end, I still attach a cute bow to the top of the bag and I'll set a pearly strap. And here's our super cute candy handbag. Let's also probably put a couple of candies and a jaw breaker inside. Okay, now I still need to make a pair of cute shoes and I'm starting again with making a basic shape out of warbler. Then I paint shoes white and add some pink dots. When the paint gets dry, I attach cute bows with strawberries to the top of the shoes. And then I attach the same pearly string to make a strap. So here are the shoes and you know guys, I just wanted to say that it was time to put everything together. But you know, I still need to style her hair actually, I almost forgot about it. But there will be nothing extraordinary today, I just want to give her some soft locks using a hair curler. And then I still need to attach the false lashes and to add glossy varnish to her eyes and lips. And you know what? I think I still want to add this pretty iridescent paint to her eyelids. It would look very pretty. Well guys, here is my finished candy Lolita and to say honestly, I love her so much. 
I don't know, I'm in some sort of a pink period of my life, it seems, because just seeing pink color and using pink paint, it feels extremely satisfying to me. And you remember, the last time, last week, it was a totally pink Lady Gaga doll. Now it's again a pink doll, so it's clearly a pink period. The next one... No, the next one will be in the other colors. And by the way, I'm working right now on something very big and very special. And I really hope that you will like it. Because, I don't know, right now I'm having a lot of fun with this project. Just planning it, sketching it. But it's a big one, so there is a chance that I will have to skip my next week video. I don't know it for sure yet, but there is still extremely lot of work to start and to finish. Yeah, and it will not be pink. But anyway, it will be for the future, for the next weeks. And right now let's talk some more about our candy girl. I don't know guys, I would eat her together with her dress, with her candy bag and with her hat and with her shoes. And I also had extremely lot of fun working on her, on this yummy candy girl. The process was very satisfying and I think I should make more big 17 inch lolitas. I don't know, maybe we should make like a dark one or some other style of lolita. Which lolita is your favorite by the way? Write it in the comments under this video. Let's discuss it there. And this doll is now for sale on eBay for three days and you can find the link in the description box under this video. So, and that was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you enjoyed it, guys. And if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button, and I will see you already very soon, normally next week Friday, in my new Dory Paint video. Love you, guys. Bye.